you know, here we are again, rising in each other's company, and this feels so good. Morning, DBS. How are you guys doing? Let's do it. Let's go on out and be great today. But first, let's see what the headlines have to say. Good morning. The much-touted secondary care hospital has been commissioned under the management of the Millennium Heights Medical Complex. We understand that to become a digital hospital requires three fun foundational elements. An electronic health record system, a process that requires backfile conversion of paper-based records into an electronic format supported by a robust patient administration system. Interoperability to, en to enable remote patient monitoring and connectivity. The secondary hospital is expected to alleviate capacity pressures at the OKE hospital as well as offer services to patients at a more technologically sophisticated level. In other news, External Affairs Minister Alpha Baptiste says the opposition United Workers' Party will not lecture the current SLP administration on how it conducts its foreign policy matters, referring to the UWP's criticism of the Labour government's response to the Venezuela-Ghana border dispute. There is no doubt in my mind that we have dedicated our region as a zone of peace, and it shall remain a zone of peace. And if we have an open line with, with Venezuela, and a member of CARICOM, we know how to use the tool of diplomacy to resolve our issues. So it is on the basis of that that I had absolutely no doubt and no fear about any invasion, any use of force. I, I was never concerned about that because I felt that there was this understanding and there was that relationship in our region to permit a resolution without the use of force. The External Affairs Minister has lauded the efforts of CARICOM in brokering the recent meeting in St. Vincent and the Grenadines between the Venezuelan and Ghanese leaders. That summit ended with both sides agreeing to settle their differences peacefully and through diplomatic means. Now, Tourism Minister Dr. Ernest Tillet has pointed out the need for a candid discussion on a master plan for Rodney Bay. He spoke against the backdrop of the planned Seven Wonders Resort development, which is expected to attract even more air, uh, visitors to that area. In the minister's view, this latest project, along with other proposed plans for Rodney Bay, require that the issue be discussed as a matter of urgency. When you think about it, the hotels that will be along the beach, there will be an EP hotel, so it means people going out to eat, to drink. All those villas and two other hotels there, that's more people going out to eat and drink. So all of a sudden, in the next three years or so, this entire strip will get a tremendous boost in the number of, of guests that live in that area. Now, it's a lot more opportunities now for restaurants, for nightlife, for entertainment. And the place needs some uplifting. It really does need some uplifting. The minister says he expects dialogue on the matter will be taking place from early next year. A local human rights activist has welcomed the Vatican's announcement that it will now allow the blessing of same-sex couples. The move is being called a step in the right direction for members of the LGBTQ plus community who are practicing Roman Catholics. I think that it's, it's, it's an, it's, it's, it, it brought that sense of hope, you know, for the Christianity movement in terms of LGBT persons who, who, who practice their faith. Um, as for St. Lucia, we do hope, and I do hope to see that, you know, the church embraces it in St. Lucia. It's something that I don't expect to happen right away because, you know, the congregation that we have, we deal with in St. Lucia, our persons might not be very welcoming. But I think if the church, if the, the priests, the priesthood, and, and can, can probably engage the congregation more on that, they may be some form of acceptance. In an approved document released by the Vatican on Monday 18th December, priests in the Roman Catholic Church will now be allowed to bless same-sex couples. However, the document states that these blessings will be done on a case-by-case -case basis and that the church's traditional stance on marriage, being between a man and a woman, will remain in place. These are your top stories. Thanks for watching. Good morning. Thank you so much, Kendall. Thank you very much, as always. Let's take a break now, and then we'll come right back after this.
right, again, season for gifting. And we did tell you this week, we definitely zeroed in some of our very amazing artisans. Yes, there's room for them. And if you're thinking gifting, we want to point you in the right direction. Our first feature, that young man, I'm sure a lot of you has dabbled into his gifting already. I have, certainly. Um, he does those local handmade pieces of jewelry and you get them engraved. So personalized. Um, Anthony's creative design, Adam. We caught up with Adam. We're here with Adam. Adam, this is gifting season and you know you get very busy around this time. Yes. I've had the privilege of coming and getting some engraved stuff. Um, over here, we see people are, are definitely taking advantage of that. Again, comes back down to personalized gifting. A lot of people are yes. very much into that these days. Tell us about yourself and your business. Okay, my name is Adam Cadet. Um, the name of my business is Ethany's Creative Designs. Um, what we do here is we do personalized jewelry and gift items. We also do handmade jewelry. Um, uh, one of the um, advantages, a lot of people are looking for gifts and, and one of the advantages of personalized items, they tend to be a little more sentimental without going too deep into your pocket, so very budget friendly um, to be, be able to give a gift that's um, meaningful, something that's impactful, you don't have to spend too much. Um, I wanted to go yeah. there with you because yes. I, 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 I'm not sure if you want to go there yet, but we'll go there together. Yeah. Um, this derived from... You lost your daughter, didn't you? Yes, I and did. And this is how this business came about yes, because my, you wanted to. Well, Tell it us was. About it. Okay, so my business started um, in 2016. My daughter was alive then. I, you know, I just wanted to do something that was, you know, that would represent her, str her strength and her endurance. And so I started making handmade jewelry. And I mean, through the time pass, um, fast forward, you know, we've just expanded a lot more than just handmade jewelry, we went to personalized jewelry and gift items. Yeah. Now that you see how everyone is receiving um, the business and, 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 you know, your daughter not being here with you physically, I know it might be a hard time for you, but um, does it bring any, any form of comfort to see how this business is? Because you have definitely decided this is how you wanted to represent her. Um, yes, definitely. I mean, sometimes I, I see people like just walking around. I see them with um, our products and so forth. So it does um, bring a sense of um, comfort, joy. Um, you know, seeing like you know something that I've worked hard over the years. You know, to build in her memory. And yeah, so it does. Yeah. Right now. You have extended, like you said, over the years. You've moved from the handmade stuff into those. Well, we've got some lovely St. Lucian representative pieces where you have the flags, um, the, the St. Lucian map yeah. in some of the jewelry. Very well created, I might add. Do you design them? Um, yes. So I have um, suppliers um, because I don't do the cutting of the metal. Yes, yes, I do the okay. designing of it. And then, of course, we add the, add the personalization to it where, you know, even customers get to be part of the whole designing process right. because they get to select, I mean, you know, use their own creative ideas and let us know exactly what they want to right. bring um, in, to bring, um, to bring out exactly what they want. To life. Yeah, right. to alive. So it's not just, you know, you do yours, but if someone has an idea, yes. um, they, f they can definitely come to you with yes. it. Um, you really do personalize this, this stuff. Right. The holiday season is here. I mean, what, what do you like to say to people in terms of gifting? Um, you know, um, just put, when you buy and give for someone, like, I, I, to me, I think that's something that you put a lot of thought into. Um, you know, um, it could be anything, whether it's, you know, maybe a, a special moment you, you, you and that person share. It could be a joke, something that, that's only fine, funny, you know, um, you know, get things that may be of you know, value, something someone can cherish and keep in the years to come. Yeah. And you can just carry it here. Yes. You can engrave it on there for us. And yes. we have a piece of a, a jewelry, a piece of representation for life. Uh, are your metal ones, are they stainless steel? Okay, yes. You can get them in so all our, yeah. most of our personalized jewelry, they're all stainless steel. They're not only stainless steel, but they're nickel free and lead free. Oh. Because you find a lot of persons are allergic to um, nickel and lead. And there are some stainless steel that can contain nickel and lead, but ours um, don't. We carefully sourced our material 
sales and our items. You know, I put a lot of effort into that to ensure that I give customers um, quality and, and, you know, that's always my focus, quality. Absolutely. So we got, we can get the, the gold tone, we can get the silver tone yes. and there's the, the, like the, almost like the gunmetal sort of... Oh, or the um, iridescence yes. color, yes. yes. You could also get that too. Wonderful. Where can we find you? Um, look at it at the GQ Mall in Rodney Bay. That's a kiosk right next to Casey's on the first floor. Right. And uh, on, are you on Instagram? Yes, I am. Um, ECD underscore 758. Right. Yes. So definitely. You need to find this guy. I think my camera guy is about to grab himself a piece. I can't blame him. I have a few at home and they're very durable, I might add. Wonderful. All the best for the season. Thank you very All much. right. Good, good. And again, festive, festive time, and we, we, we need to find ourselves in people's homes. Um, we, we, do, we do our house to house differently. <laughs> we normally do our house to house differently at DBS. So we did a house call, and we went to Jacqueline um, Dillia's Delights. Jacqueline does a lot of Christmas-related stuff, including her signature sorrel. Well, it's a taste test for us. You know, we always do that. I'm here with Della's Delights. This is Jacqueline. We're coming back in a while. First, let me take a sip of this, and then we come back. Hold on. That is it. That is it. This is Sorrel made by Della's Delight. And we're talking Della's Delight. That's right. Della's Jackie, Delight. what's going on, girl? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Well, no, Getting ready for the festive season. We are, certainly. And we could not have gotten ready for Christmas and not find ourselves in Della's kitchen because okay. you're doing everything Christmas right I'm, here. I'm trying my very best. Excellent. From the Sorrel to the punches, to the, punches, to the black cake, to the, cake, to the fruit to packages, the fruit packaging, yes, you to the are, bags. You've got it yes. all. You've definitely got certainly. it all. Tell me about Della's Delights. When when was it started? Uh, why was it started? Are you only around for the Christmas season? What's going I'm on? not around only for the Christmas season. Della's Delights started about maybe I'd say seven years ago mm -hmm. out of my love for the kitchen for food right. so I'd cook for my friends I'd cook for my family and I said but you should try this out mm -hmm. I did one meeting for one friend and another friend suggested Ooh. you should do another meeting and then a lady, a lady friend of mine registered me to do a cake baking course with NRDF oh. so I started there I did wow. that afterwards I did bread baking and pastry making and the drinks the sorrel especially I got from my grandfather the peanut punch, I try to make it to the taste that I like, not very sweet. Mm. You know, if enough peanut flavor and so. Right. The cakes, I, well, I learned to make the cakes from the cake baking course. Right. And also for my love for the texture of cake. And one of the things Della's Delights will say that we can boast of is that we don't use any of those imported fruits. We have no raisins, no prunes, no cherries in our fruit cakes. So what is there? Our fruit cakes have only, fruit, only local fruits. So we have in there, we have um, five fingers, we have golden Are apple, we have papaya, we have soury, we have wax apple, yes. So Della's Delights works in the kitchen throughout the year preparing fruits like for this it. time of year. Wow, I, this, I am, this is impressive. Wow, no imported fruits. No imported all fruits. St. Lucian, all Saint Lucian authentic Lucian, fruits. That is right. Well, and that's after, a selling point I mean, point the for storm me came with good and bad. After the <laughs> storm, I got a lot of fruits. And, and so I can do yes, I, and I can do throughout throughout the year as long as I get fruits. I'm, oh, so that's what I'm about to say. How are you gonna how you maintain that because you once, make right, once so the you fruits are available, I, them. I preserve them. I dry oh. them up. Sometimes I store it in the fridge or I start to soak it in the uh, in the wine or whichever mm -hmm. right away. Yes, so we have fruits wow. throughout the year. We're you working in that kitchen throughout the year so we can have enough <laughs> fruits to supply our cake our fruit cake lovers at this time of year with our fruit cakes baked with only local fruits. I like this. I absolutely like this. Well, yes. let's talk about this now because this looks like it's a full-time thing for you. Is that all you do? No. Actually, I'm a hairdresser as well. Are so you? I do, I balance the two. I do hairdressing and I do my catering and my fruit cakes and punches at Christmas time. Well, these are two high demand um, 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 yes, career right. around so, this time so of year as well. Sometimes I get so, one hour of sleep. Right? <laughs> well, how do you do it? <laughs> Well, because there's more demand because everybody wants to get dolled up I sleep and after also Christmas. Christmas stuff. You you, you take I sleep, a break. I sleep after Christmas. Yeah, man. That after is Christmas it. That's when it's woman. quiet, then I rest. But that besides that, if I have to keep busy, I'm busy. Sometimes I come again. from work, then I have to get in the kitchen and get up again at three o'clock in the morning because I have an appointment at the salon for nine. So I have to bake, mm -hmm. go down to the salon, come back up, do this. Yeah, so in between that, I have to go and deliver cakes and all wow. that. Wow. But girl, you you're a hustler. <laughs> we want to listen. You need to get yourself and the sorry is good. I told you, I promise you, it is good. 
Mm. And the cakes are good too. I sample the cake as well. If you need to get yourself some, the packaging is uh, uh, gorgeous, by the way. Thank you, you you came up with the idea for your packaging as well. Yes, I did. I did. I mean, I, so some people you walk around and you see it with the seal broken. Maybe anybody could break it. Yeah. But I seal. I Make buy sure those and sealed. I seal. Yes. Make I sure seal them and put my Dallas Delights label on there. So persons mm -hmm. have my contact number here to right. reach me if they wish to. Right. Are you on them. any of the social sites? For yes, now? I am on Instagram Dallas dot Delights. Mm -hmm. You could find us there, right. or you could call us on seven two. Seven two nine seven two two sorry nine nine three, and then you could get us on Instagram at seven two one three five five nine. Are there still is there still room to get any of you know oh, the fruit cakes? Once you're not ordering on Christmas morning, you will get fruit cake. <laughs> I like her, you know. I really listen. And this if you call me on Christmas, here. if you call me on Christmas morning, I sell in my fruit cake for you. <laughs> I love Della. Listen, that is businesswoman. That is bosswoman. Della, all the best for the holiday season and, you know, beyond. Because this is remarkable stuff. We can tell you're putting a lot into your craft. Yes, I and, do. And you I keep do. busy yes, as well. Thank you. So that's an example right there, guys. That's the hustler. I do. You get Della's me? Delights more than likely will be out on Constitution Park on the boulevard selling those stuff on, on the weekend. So look out for us on Friday and Saturday. Absolutely. <laughs>are you we've got three features for you today so in our final feature jan design listen we ain't talking long just take a look at this take a look at this awesomeness right here oh boy we caught up with this young lady here her name is jan from jan designs and well as you can see and you can tell absolutely we had to tap into her energy because this is what we were working with here this young lady has got creativity unlock and not just creativity, she's able to put that creativity in some very classy stuff. So obviously, if we talk in gifting, and we did mention this week, we're going to be doing a lot of that, pointing you in the direction of gifting, because this is the season. And we thought, this right here, I know a couple of ladies that would never, not mind at all, to get themselves on, on their hands on one of these amazing pieces right here. Jan, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Good to see you. Thank you for making the time to join us. Thank but then you. again, it was worth the while. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, you know, uh, being able to get that sort of exposure is important right now because your business is pretty young. How, how long is, did you get into this? Um, well, I started making bags about four years ago, but on the whole classy line, it's only been about a year. Right. So what, what prompted you to start making bags? Was that where you out of a job? It was something you're looking for? What was going on? No, um, I've always been very creative with my hands mm -hmm. and I do have a other family member who makes bags. Okay. But I just wanted to be a bit different with mine. Right. So yeah. you decided what? Was it out of a need for a little extra finance or, or just... It's just my passion for creativity. You just wanted to get into the creative side of things. Yes. All right. Okay. So you started and then boom, this reached. Where did this come out? Where this Because yeah, we saw the tote bags you started making very basic mm -hmm. no excitement whatsoever to them how did you come by these okay so how did I, that inspiration come out the inspiration first came out of one of the bags that i made mm -hmm. which is a crocheted version to a bag i just wanted to be different and to try something new so i started with the crochet bag you had an event or something you were trying to no. yourself for the event no i was just okay. trying to create something oh man <laughs> okay then. so i i just randomly see stuff and if it looks like a bug to me, then I just create something out of it. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so dial back now. You started this. This idea jump in. You started, you started first with the crochet thing. Yeah. And then what happened there? And then um, I've been speaking to this Nigerian friend that I made online. Ah. And they deal with a lot of beads and stuff. Okay. So she showed me some samples of stuff that she's doing. And I'm like... What can I do to make mine look different? Mm -hmm. um, so I don't normally copy what people do. <laughs> yeah. I try to use what people show me to inspire me to do something of my own. Right. So this is where it keep all And this from. is your end result. Is it yes. anything different to your Nigerian friend? Yes, it it's is. It's totally different. Yes. Oh, well, we've got to get a look at hers. All right. So since you started this, where are you right now? Um, when you're getting down to doing that career, how do you get them to take the shape? How you, this is this is a beautiful shaped bag. So now you're not just doing bags, you're doing designs that is so complete, so different, like you said, stand out. How do you get them to stay like that? What What's the method? Um, I just use the bits and lines, that's all. 
<laughs> go see. All right, maybe I shouldn't bother with this. Yeah, that's, that's not, listen. My thing is to just it's, rock it, not not to figure yeah. out how it's been made. It may seem complicated, but it's very simple. How, how long does it take you to put together a piece like that? A like piece this like that piece? takes about eight hours. And you do it once once sit down, or you do when you get up. You mm. how do you do it? I just sit down there, watch television, and just. Uh. <laughs> This is lovely. All right. So since then, what has been the response? Because we, we caught you at one of the expos, so which means you're now starting to get um, the exposure. What has been the response from the public? It's been very good. Everyone likes it and stuff, but I don't think all of my pieces are pieces that everybody should have. So yeah. it's not for everyone, but there is something for everyone. Okay, because this is just one. This is the beans. Yes. You do other stuff. The crochet ones. Let's talk about what else you did. We saw a bamboo pizza a while ago as well. We've got on display there as well. So talk about the different ones you make. Um, so for now, well, we spoke about the beaded ones already. I have the crocheted ones in different styles and different shapes. Mm -hmm. For example... This one, isn't it? This one? That's one of those, isn't it? Yes. So this oh, is one cute. of it. This one is a side bag, kind of. Um, not my favorite design. My favorite design is the red one here. Oh. But I just do these in different shapes and different styles. Let me see if I can grab the red one. Oh, I got some. Okay, so this is the red one you're talking about. So this is the first one that I actually made. Like this? Yes. Why is it so much of your favorite? What about it? I don't know. It's classy. It's just, it's just, it's not loud. Mm -hmm. It's just simple and classy. All right. Okay, yeah. so we know a little bit about her <laughs> for now. Right. Where are you located? How can we find you? This is gifting season. A lot of people might be looking at DBS now and, you know, probably get a little idea that, you know, wow, this might be something I want to gift. Um, our, our very own Linda here. Uh, we don't want to put out the, the bag, but Linda is going to be gifting some of those. She just purchased some. So which is, again, Linda is always known for supporting very much our young creatives. So she should definitely be in Linda and she purchased some of it, but it's, it, it would have had to appeal to her as well. So she definitely likes your design. So how can persons reach you? Okay, so I can be found on social media mm -hmm. at Jehan Designs on Instagram. It's J-H-A-N-N-D-E-S-I-G-N-S -N -N -E -S on Facebook as well. Or I can be contacted via WhatsApp. The WhatsApp details is on Instagram as well. Or for those who does not have Instagram, it's 714-4389 or 722-9111. Right. I want to purchase. I probably will have an idea. And I want to want you to incorporate it, make something a little bit more personalized. Mm -hmm. um, how much time do I need to order? Okay. So to order, it's normally three to seven business days. We also do express. There's just an additional fee for it. Right. Yeah. Are your pricing on your social site as well? No, but the price ranges for my stuff is between 85 EC to 375 EC. All right. Well, there you go. Jan Design, if you're looking for gifting, definitely something to consider right here. Well, what do you know? We come to the end of our show for another awesome day. I hope you're going out and be great today and join us again tomorrow. Let's do this all over again. We're going to have some more for you. Yeah. Stay with us.